What you see before you is nine Hoover Junior upright vacuum cleaners, one of which isn't unboxed yet. Welcome to the start of, well, I thought it was going to be a week, but I think it might be a couple of days longer. This is the beginnings of a Hoover Junior Marathon. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? I I don't know why I've got so many juniors. Half of them aren't mine. I want them all restored. So I thought, what better way to do it? Meal a week, fortnight, seems quite popular. So we'll try it with a Hoover Junior. We have many here to choose from. I've had to make a little list so that I don't fumble about on this video let me come this side because we start with and there's going to be some before videos in full obviously some we've already seen so don't worry too much about me glossing over some we have this Hoover Junior 1426 from December 1992 I've had this Mr James picked this up as spares for a turbo power of his that we in the end fixed a different way and he said I could keep it, and this is how it's been sitting for a while. So we will do a full before video on those. Back here, won't go into too much detail because we'll do a before video on both of these. We have two Scottish vacuum cleaners. These belong to Kirsten from the Hoover Herd. And they both spit their belts off and they snap them. And she just said she would love one good one out of two. And that's what needs to happen here. So we shall pop those to one side ready for the before video on that one. What's next? Well, I have my... What's next on my list? 1346A, which I think I'm going to show you this one next. This one needs... A before video, this one came from my friend Richie on Instagram is super duper coupe. Found it in his garage. It's a very clean from July 1971, I do believe. Yes. No, October 1977. I picked up the other one before. Either way, we'll do a before video on this. I've never plugged it in, it's not had a cable in all the time I've had it, but it is very complete, so before video of that I have my U1104 which we have seen a before video of it, I've been using it quite a lot as well generously given to me by a very good friend of mine, you have seen a lot of his machines basically every Hoover Constellation I have shown you, and probably have still to show you came from this guy so this was a very nice gift we've seen it before video the next time we see this should be an after and hopefully it will be retro brighted up and looking a lot nicer you're going to have to go over there i have my 1334a that oh, we have had for many years literally years this cost me 15 pounds we unstuck the carbon brushes in the before video and that's it here it is now the bags not even fitted because i try not to store them with the bags on too much bags a little bit tatty but we'll be absolutely fine so yes high time this had an after video this belongs to another friend of mine actually quite a local friend this is a 1334a that has been painted although it's been painted gray has a genuine hoover handle grip and the front plate which looks very familiar indeed i don't have the back for it he didn't drop that off this just sounds dry it needs to come apart and go back together so we shall do something 
with this. And then, well, almost finally, this U1012 that a very kind stranger gave me who found me from my newspaper article. It's... I'm 50-50. This is a U1012 from June 1976. And it is okay that will retro bite up. But it needs new handles because these have been bolted in like so. And it's different to, say, a normal junior handle because the bag thing sits higher. Fairly sure they are different indeed and it has no bumper so what i thought i'll do is leave this one and use it as a parts donor for anything else that's needed but then again we've already got a parts donor so i don't quite know it might just get sold as it is you'll have to just wait and see and that brings me on to these which i thought i may as well unbox in this video because this is going out just to get you ready I've not even, you know, I've got to start now. I'm filming this at the beginning of August, if you're so way inclined. And these two boxes are the fault of Mr. James, yes. Oh good, I've actually opened the right one first. Because in here is a mixture. In here are two machines that he wants me to be furnished. And one of them is... <laughs> The ninth Hoover Junior. We need to get this unboxed. There is also a Mila S712 look. Very nice indeed. This will want... Well, he always says he just wants to give them a polish. Oh, look at that. A brand new filter. But, problem is, it's easier for me, especially given the state of that, just to rip it apart, wash it, and polish it, and stuff it back together. So... I may, if I get this done with these, you know, sneak this little after video in. But yeah, this isn't really the subject of this. It's just in the box, really. And I want to get these boxes out of the way. Oh my goodness! Oh dear! This isn't going to get confused. I didn't ask what colour it was. Um, ow, my finger hurts now. Oh, the brush roll fell out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, but this one from 134610 October 1976. 134610 7. Oh, this one's older. Okay. Oh, well, that's um, a thing, <laughs> isn't it? I can't repaint the handle. I'm going to say that now, but again, it's probably quite easy to find another handle of that size but yeah another one how ah, would you look at that it's not quite as faded but you may as well do the before video one no 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 far too interesting you want to see what's in the other box anyway don't you okay so that's going to be flipping confusing to make sure that well to make sure i keep all the all oh, the handle bed is broken keep all the parts in one place but then again, Mr. James won't care if they both come apart together. Go into a big box. And just whatever goes back together first goes back together. Right. Yeah. This is actually mine. This is payment for the Dirt Devil Eclipse Plus. The tidier of a twin turbo that we need to do. We need to film that. And that means that and that junior this is my payment and we have some pattern bags ha. <laughs> more bags we have another all tech floor tool I think I've got enough bits to cobble together a good one some small tools a hose this we'll look at this in a second a nice wand and another hose and a suction relief valve from something else. <laughs> Stay. This is the Mila C3 Silence. Literally S yeah, S G S K3 with the little 
bouncy suspension wheels in white um, with all of its small tools as well. Fab. Mr. James says that it has been a part and the motor doesn't work. Did I want it? And I said, yes, please. And my hair is it ever so slightly bobbles about. I think I might do this one up. Oh, I can't shut it. Now. I think this one might be the one that gets done up. That's why, look, because that's the entire. Oh, blimey, look at that. Oh, that <laughs> That was silly, folks. <laughs> nah. There we go. I'm going to build this into a beautiful machine. Probably keep it from me the week. I still have, still got two actually. I don't quite know why I've got two. But one of the black meters I was going to keep, and hence why I've still got it. This, however, oh my gosh, I've really <laughs> bent it now. Uh -oh. Ah. <laughs> This will be the one that I keep and everything else. One of these hoses will be for it. I don't think it's that one either. Yeah, that one. This one is for S5. So obviously the cat and dog. C2 that I have. So yes, it's not an S5, is it? It's a C whatever it is. By the way, more meter junk. So here we have what we have to do really this is what you have to look forward to coming up on my channel this isn't the best camera angle is it i shall stop doing it shortly but yes all of these need to be done so come and join me for before videos repair videos i wonder how fast i can go stop before videos repair videos after videos all the videos coming up however long it takes so little teaser see you tomorrow and goodbye